All right, here we are. Did you get your wine yet? Um, this is not an endorsement, but I do want to tell you that I have found a red wine that I think is going to be the wine that I indulge on often, okay? Um, again, not an endorsement, but it is called Flow, um, which I picked it up because I was like, what a funny name for red wine. Flow, really? Um, I love this wine, and I'm usually not the biggest fan of red wine because I like sweet wine not gonna lie and red wine to me sometimes is super bitter but anyway welcome to another episode where we remind each other that singleness is not a punishment and self-awareness is your superpower um today <laughs> i'm not gonna drink wine with you because i'm actually shooting this video at 11 o'clock in the morning on a sunday and i haven't even had breakfast yet so i know it's five o'clock somewhere but i'm not going to have some but you girl can partake because it's six o'clock in the evening when you see this video okay so today's book report is on devon franklin's here let me turn down my ring light because i'm that's up. there we go devon franklin the truth about men i think it's backwards um as you are watching it but um listen self-awareness is your superpower and how do you become self-aware? Well, in my journey of finding uh, myself, it was about asking myself questions and answering them in the quiet with just me. You know what I mean? I think that we definitely have a lot of friends. We always wanna kick it. We're always out and about. We're always talking to other people. But do you ever actually like sit down and talk to yourself? So Rika, who do you wanna be? Rika, who are you? Rika, what does God say about you? And so I began that journey in June of 2017. And then I began to start reading a lot of books because I wanted to gather as much self-help information as I could. And also reading autobiographies of people that I love, like Gabrielle Union, and see how they uh, went about the journey of, in their life. And I believe that that helps you. I listen to sermons. Um, I journal, I write down goals, and all of that is, uh, has been my journey to being self-aware and strong in what I believe is best for my life. So anyway, this book, I'm just going to read you a couple of quotes from Devon Franklin. Again, girl, you need to get this book, okay? And then when you get a boyfriend, or if you already have one, or a husband, make him read it too. It was very informational, um, and it helped me as a woman see what guys go through. Not to give them an excuse, but to see what they go through and maybe understand, but also not allow it in my life. Because Devon Franklin does not say that in his book. Yeah, this is what we go through, and so you should just allow it. No, 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 no. Okay, so Devon says, <laughs> this is on page 65. Denying reality enables us to continue engaging in unhealthy behavior. Most people won't recognize the harmful effects of denial until they are knee deep in a bad situation. Okay, if the same bad outcomes keep happening to us and we can't seem to figure out why, there's a good chance that we are denying reality in some way. And so that let me know that so I'm changing and have changed the way that I decide to date and get to know a man because what I was doing in the past why i've probably made it to 35 single um is because i was beating my head against the wall and i was doing the wrong things and maybe i was in denial that it was my choosing and what i allowed in my relationship that put me in those unhealthy relationships okay and so i have now changed and so this encouraged me to keep on the path to keep on the path and to not do what i was doing in the, uh, in the past okay here's another quote uh, from his book. I'm sorry. I think you just heard my dog sneeze. <laughs> He's being weird. Um, <clears throat> so on page 91 in Devon Franklin's The Truth About Men, he says, being a man requires becoming a leader on a personal level. Just because a man is a great leader professionally doesn't make him a great leader personally. Okay. And then down the, uh, the chapter, he says, women, he goes, uh, this is one of the reasons I encourage both men and women to not evaluate men solely by their professional accomplishments, but by their personal integrity. That's the real barometer of true success, which I was like, whoa, that was my ex. We'll call him Mystery Lance because that's what I called him on my radio show. He looks so uh, professionally successful and he was making six figures, doing the whole finance thing, and he was successful. 
But if I would have taken this yardstick and measured him by this yardstick in his personal life, he was not a leader. He just wasn't. I'm not saying that to be mean, um, but he wasn't. Um, and that ultimately is why we broke up because I was a better leader in my personal life than he was in his personal life. And that led him to say, you have it way, way more together than I do and I need to go work on myself. So I can't be in this relationship. I can't be the man uh, that you want or need. So, okay, bye Felicia. Um, and so that helped me, this paragraph in Devon's book, I'm like, okay, that's my yardstick now. What, what is your integrity like in your personal life? OK, uh, and he goes on to um, to help you define that and figure that out. This is why I love this book, because it gives us an insight to a man from a man on how to pick a good man. OK, um, there is a quote that he uses in his book that I love. The quality of your life depends on the desires you choose to pursue and those that you choose to forego. OK, and I love that because, yeah, you know, you may have a desire to go date that dude that you know isn't work for you, you know isn't good for you but is that is that gonna be good for your life did you sit down and actually think about that so you need to forego that desire and not date that man because you dated him before mm -hmm. that was michael two years ago so don't date him again <laughs> all right here's another one <clears throat> when you love someone you protect them from the pain you don't become the cause of it that's just deep in itself. The whole ride or die thing, you got to go. Love is not meant to be painful or embarrassing. It's not, okay? All right, so the last one, um, in chapter six, Devon Franklin used a quote that says, we must all su suffer, we must all suffer one of two things, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. All right, girl, are you going to be disciplined enough to wait for the guy that is meant for you, for the guy that you actually want. And I'm talking to myself and yes, again, this book helps me realize that the standard that I do have is okay to have. Like my standard is here and I will not lower it because I'm lonely, because I think society's gonna think I'm weird the older I get and be single because everybody thinks I should be in a relationship because people wanna hook me up with people. No, the standard that I have is the standard. And if there is no man that can meet that standard, I accept the calling that God has on my life. So it is what it is, all right? So anyway, if you do end up buying Devon Franklin's book and reading it, let me know, girl. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you know exactly when I post. And you have a great day. Thanks for watching.